Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Professor Asif Qureshi and you are watching Dr. Asif Lectures. Today, I'm going to discuss a very important topic on renal pharmacology and these drugs are called renin inhibitors, okay? As the name indicates, they are inhibitors of what? Renin. So, as I always tell in pharmacology lectures that whenever you have a group of drug, the first thing to notice is that what is the name? So, for example, in renin inhibitor, they are going to inhibit renin. Now, it's your job to think about where is renin released from what is the function of renin because if you understand that then you will be able to tell that what is the mechanism of action of renin inhibitor and what are the side effect profile of renin inhibitor so if you understand the physiology and if you understand the normal stuff then understanding the pharmacology in the drugs is not a problem therefore i highly recommend that i have a video which is called physiology of renin angiotensin aldosterone system you must watch that video first once you have watched this video then you step up to another topic and see this video which is ACE inhibitor and i'm giving the link of this video in my uh, description section of this particular video okay so first watch the RAS physiology video then go and watch my ACE inhibitor video and then watch my angiotensin 2 receptor blocker video okay so once you climb up these three steps then your step is renin inhibitors okay now i will very quickly describe how the renin angiotensin aldosterone system works because the details i have already explained in this particular video okay so what happens is from the liver there's a molecule which is called angiotensinogen it is released and it is converted into angio tensin one molecule and this actually happens by the action of renin okay and from where is renin release the renin is released from the juxtaglomerular cells of nephron okay and this i have already discussed in the ras physiology video now when 81 is produced 81 is converted into angiotensin 2 and this angiotensin 2 goes and performs a lot of different functions and all those functions collectively increase the blood pressure and they increase the blood volume okay so that is the normal uh, quick review of renin angiotensin system and this by the way was happening by angiotensin converting enzyme so in summary angiotensinogen from the liver is converted into angiotensin 1 by the action of renin and angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 by the action of angiotensin converting enzyme ACE which is released from the vascular epithelial lining of lungs and angiotensin 2 performs a lot of different actions all to increase the blood pressure and blood volume okay now in previous videos we discussed how do ACE inhibitors work if you block ACE all the downstream effect will be disturbed and the blood pressure will be lowered the blood pressure will go down and the volume will go down if you block the receptors for angiotensin 2 what will happen again the same thing angiotensin 2 will not be able to perform its function therefore angiotensin 2 receptor blockers and ACE inhibitors have almost the same mechanism of action and profile of side effects now if you want to block something upstream in this pathway and you directly block renin then what will happen if you block renin no angiotensin 1 will be produced if no angiotensin 1 is produced no angiotensin 2 will be produced so basically you are shutting off the whole pathway by blocking the function of renin okay and this is the job of renin inhibitor it is also used to lower down the blood pressure but it is not among the first line management but anyways you should know because there is a drug available and the renin inhibitor aliskirin alice kirin is available and you must remember this okay is available for the treatment of hypertension now alice kirin directly inhibits renin and i just told you this and thus act earlier in the renin and just angiotensinogen aldosterone system i just told you it it works upstream it does not work downstream because downstream we talked about ACE inhibitors downstream we talked about angiotensin 2 receptor blockers this is upstream the pathway okay so higher up in the pathway you block renin and you shut off the whole pathway another very important point is that alice chiron should not be combined with ace inhibitors or arps why because there is no point of combining this drug alice chiron, which inhibits renin 
with ACE inhibitors or ARB, which also have similar mechanism of action. So the side effect profile is also very much similar. Therefore, if you combine aliskarin with any of these ACE inhibitor or ARBs, you will actually put the patient, you know, in more danger of developing severe hyperkalemia, for example, or severe hypotension, for example. So you don't combine these drugs. Okay, remember this point. Now. It also causes cough and angioedema, but obviously the severity is less than it was caused by the ACE inhibitors. Remember this point. Um, as with ACE inhibitors and ARBs, aliskarin is contraindicated during pregnancy. So this is also teratogenic. So basically, all the drugs working on renin, angiotensinogen, aldosterone system are basically contraindicated in pregnancy. All these drugs, either they are ACE inhibitors or angiotensin 2 receptor blockers or the renin blocker, they are all contraindicated during pregnancy. Okay. Now, one last point which is very important for aliskarin is that it is metabolized by cytochrome P3A4 system, and this means that it is subject to many drug interactions. And we will talk about this in a separate video where we talk and discuss about drug interactions. So, this is all about renin inhibition. Okay. So, the point is this if you understand this letter you understand all the videos where i'm talking about pharmacology of ras system so first understand the physiology of ras then watch my video on ace inhibitors then arbs and then watch this video so that you understand okay so these are all connected renin angiotensin system is very critical system for maintaining the blood pressure and therefore the drugs acting on the RAS system renin angiotensin aldosterone system are very very important for your examination purpose so I hope you understand this topic very well and clearly and um, I will leave here this video and then I'll be back soon with another video on another topic of high interest and high yield for your examination so till then take care of yourself and watch this video Video again and again and the other videos as i mentioned here all these videos on the renin angiotensin aldosterone system to master your concept of ras physiology and ras pharmacology take care of yourself allah hafiz